This week's word of the week is going to be pitch. Uh, scale of 1 to 10, if you're in the welding world and you don't know what it means, 1 being not that big of a deal, 10 being a really big deal, it's probably around a 6. It's not the end of the world if you don't know what it is. If you're doing it every day, of course, that number goes up. You really need to know what pitch is. Uh, every welder should know what pitch is. Uh, staggered weld arrow right here. Staggered weld is when pitch comes into effect. Uh, it's when you have a joint and you have uh, small welds with a gap in between, so it's staggered. Uh, that's when uh, pitch comes into play. Pitch is the center to center measurement of the uh, gaps in between the welds. So it doesn't go from the end to the beginning of the weld, it goes from center of the weld to center of the weld. And the reason they do that is because Let's say you have a two inch weld called out for the length of the weld. Uh, no welder is going to get it perfectly two inches, right? Because they're human beings. Uh, even with robotic applications, it would be tough to get it exactly two inches. That's why they do the center to center uh, measurements. That, that's probably one of the most important things to remember um, with regards to the word pitch, uh, is the center to center measurement aspect of it. That know that it's measured from the center to the center, not from the end of the weld to the beginning of the next weld. Center to center, one of the most important things to remember about pitch. And there's also intermittent welds, and that's just where they put welds on the back side of the weld that you already did where the gaps are. You put the weld on the other side. And I'm gonna do a, a little print here in a minute, and it'll explain further what a staggered weld and an intermittent weld is. Um, questions on why would you um, uh, use a staggered weld uh, over here? First and foremost is money, right? Uh, we're going to kind of go over the cost that you would save by doing a staggered weld here in a second, but money is definitely the most important thing uh, or important reason why they would do it. They're trying to save money. Uh, the other one is warping. Uh, if, you, if you don't want to put a ton of localized heat into a joint, they're going to stagger it. All right? Now, who figures out um, how big the weld has to be, how uh, the length of the weld versus the pitch? That's where your welding engineer comes in, right? So they're going to figure all that out to save as much money as possible. And also, if you're doing something like stainless, where it has a tendency to warp, they're going to stagger those welds to, to uh, space out the heating, really. So let's go up here. If I get the board to work, let's go. Just like dancing around, all right. So what we were talking about earlier with money, cost savings with less weld, right? things that you're going to save on by doing a staggered weld, first and foremost, wire or rod if you're doing a, a stick, you're not putting that wire or rod into the into the weld so that you're saving money on that because wire and rod costs money, right? Uh, gas, if you're doing Tigger, uh, MIG, you're not spending the money on the 7525 or the Argon, right? And the big one here is labor. It, you can move things through faster so you're not spending money uh, paying a welder to do the actual full length of the weld. You stagger it, you're saving on all this right here. So I'm going to drop a couple uh, prints real quick on a, on a staggered weld and an intermittent weld, and we'll uh, show you that here in a second. All right, this is a mock-up of a staggered weld here. Uh, so this would be a T-joint plate going down here. These are the welds right here. And um, this is the welding symbol over here. So we have a fillet weld right here. 2-5, this is the length of the weld, this is the pitch. So we'll just draw an L right here for length, P for pitch, which is our word of the week. Uh, this is saying the length of the weld is 2 inches, so right here. Length of the weld is 2 inches, and the 5 is the pitch. So 5 inches would be the center to center distance between the welds. And again, center to center is very important to remember when you're dealing with pitch. Uh, one other thing that I wanted to mention is, if you look at this joint, and you can see the weld, 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 and then it goes to the end and there's nothing there. If you're doing a staggered weld, you always want to put a little bit of weld on the very end or around the corner. You don't want to leave that open. Even if it doesn't meet the measurement of five, you always want to put something in here at the end. Uh, that's a stress riser. So that's something else to think about. That's also very important. I would say the two main things when you're talking about a staggered weld to know it's center to center and never leave an end open. So what we're going to do now is look at a uh, staggered intermittent weld. This is a staggered intermittent weld, okay? And we're looking at, again, a fillet weld on a T-joint, but we're looking top down. I don't know how else you can draw this on the board or really make any sense. So you're looking from the top down at the weld. 
This is the plate that's going to be vertical in the middle, and this is your flat plate on the bottom there. And then let's go over here to the welding symbol real quick. Just how would you draw a staggered intermittent weld on a welding symbol? Uh, the, to, to make it intermittent, you just take your fillet weld symbol and you offset them a little bit like that. That means it's a staggered intermittent uh, fillet weld. Two inch length, five inch pitch. We'll leave that the same on, on the top and the bottom or arrow side and other side. Then over here, uh, just to you know, improve your welding symbol reading abilities, uh, quarter inch leg side on the arrow side, the other side 5 sixteenths. Why you would ever change that, I don't know. We're just doing it to show you uh, some, some uh, welding symbol data, I guess. So what you got here is, again, two inch weld. So let's label this two inch here, five inch pitch. And again, that's center to center in between the welds. And, you know, I kind of drew the welds uh, off uh, on purpose, you know, because that's the same thing that's going to happen when you're welding. You're going to have some that are a little bit longer, some that are a little bit shorter because uh, welders aren't perfect like human beings. So you're never going to get a perfect two inch weld. That's why they do the center to center pitch. Now, one thing that you will notice on this, you got your staggered weld down here. The intermittent part means you put the weld where there's the gap on the other side. So that's why the welds are here. So it's a staggered intermittent weld. Now, when you're just looking at the last little drawing I did, I said you never leave the ends open, right? Well, there's two different ways you can do this. First, right here, you would just go however long it takes to fill it in. But like on the other side now, if you're putting a staggered intermittent weld in here, and this is um, starting here, you can either put a small one like this, just on the end, or you can do the whole weld right across. Same thing down here. You, if, you, if you have another weld, which is going to start right here, it just makes sense to just finish it out right. So you just finish this one out all the way over. With this one, you kind of had two different options. You can put a little one right here, then put a tiny little gap. Usually, you're just going to run it right out. Hopefully, that makes sense because you never want to leave your ends open. So you have two different options. You can put a little one, then a gap, and, and put the, the, the intermittent weld in, or just run it all the way down. It's kind of up to the, to the welder, or maybe it'll you might even have that on the print where it tells you what to do as far as uh, when you get a gap like that. So hopefully that gives a good idea of what pitch is. It's just the center to center measure of welds that are staggered. All right, and that's the, probably the most important thing to remember, center to center. So hopefully uh, you have a good idea of what pitch is. Thanks for watching, subscribing to TV Weld, and we'll see you next time.